previously on the Kungsleden. We got our first glimpse of the natural beauty of Sweden as we set foot on the first steps of our Kungsleden adventure. The dense forests and the shimmering lakes that we hiked through were absolutely breathtaking and the silence was unlike anything we had ever experienced before. There were no signs of civilization to be found, only the rustling of leaves and the soft sounds of our footsteps on the trail. As the sun began to set, we arrived at our campsite and settled in for the night with a hot cup of tea. In this vlogging series, we invite you to join us on our journey of the section from Fikjok to Salto de Wokta. As we venture above the Arctic Circle for the first time, we're stepping into a whole new world. One filled with vast landscapes, majestic reindeer and the mesmerizing northern lights. Let's discover the magic of the Kungsleden together. As raindrops fell gently on our tent, we were slowly awakening, drawn by the soft melody of nature's lullaby. Stepping out from the safety of our tent, we were struck by the morning mist hanging above the calm lake. Eager to explore this fairy tale like world, we emerged from our shelter, filling our lungs with the fresh air. We are ready for the second day of our journey on the Kungsleden. This day we are hiking from the campsite of Porte towards the nearest campsite to the boat crossing that gets us to Aktsum. arrived in Sarek National Park. The Kungslede has a 16 kilometer stretch of the trail in Sarek National Park. And Sarek is well known as the uh, European Alaska, right? Yeah, it uh, runs through the southern part as well, right? Yeah, the southern, the southern part. part of Sarek National Park. And we can see a lot of moose and reindeer here. And it's really a distinct area, like no people here, almost no huts, no cell phone reception. So it's really into the wilderness. As the rain finally stops, we take a moment to breathe in the fresh, damp air. The sound of rain dripping from the leaves above is replaced by the gentle burble of a nearby river, its current running strong and steady. We set about making coffee, relishing the warmth of the mug in our hands and the rich aromas floating up to our noses. It's a simple pleasure, but out here in nature, it feels like the ultimate luxury. As we sit by the river, we're struck by the profound sense of unity we feel with the natural world around us. We're not just observers, but active participants in this environment, sharing space and resources, each element dependent on the others to survive. As we break through the tree line, we're greeted by the stunning views of Sweden's Lapland. Misty landscapes stretching out as far as the eye can see. Above us, the clouds put on a spectacular show, while below, the fall colors create a beautiful patchwork quilt of oranges, yellows and reds. It's a moment of pure awe and wonder, and we feel incredibly fortunate to be here, experiencing this natural beauty firsthand.
And the best thing if you ask me about the Koenslede is that there's literally no sign of civilization anywhere. You don't see any houses, cars, you don't hear anything except water running. How's your day been so far, Alet? Really good. I almost cried when I saw the herd of reindeers. That was really on my bucket list for this Sweden trip that I saw some reindeers and it's unbelievable that we already saw them on the second day. The sight of the majestic reindeer grazing in the distance took our breath away. For the first time we were able to witness these magnificent creatures up close, marveling at their grace and beauty. As we continue on our journey, we're treated to the views of pristine lakes stretching out before us, with no sign of civilization in sight. It's like we've stepped back in time to a world untouched by human hands. We are currently looking for a place to camp. The original plan was to go to a lake and cross the lake there, but it's almost dinner time and we're not even close. So we're looking for a nice camp spot down the valley and we hope there's some water because we need water, of course, and camp there. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Good camp spot to let. Yeah, except for this big rock. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pretty good spot right here next to the stream. And there's even a place for a fire. So. Everything we need. Finally, we set foot at our campsite, surrounded by trees and the gentle sound of a nearby river. It's a humbling experience to be so intimately connected with the natural world, and we feel a deep sense of peace and contentment settling over us. As we settle into our tent for the night, we're grateful for the opportunity to disconnect from everyday life and immerse ourselves in the quiet beauty of Sweden. On the next episode of the Koenslede. We have a short day as we make our way across a beautiful lake, the crystal clear water reflecting the surrounding trees in stunning detail. Finally, we arrive at Aktse, where we are treated to some of the most spectacular views that Sweden has to offer. After reaching one of the most beautiful campsites we have ever been, and the night begins to fall, we are rewarded with something out of this world the Northern Lights. Don't miss this episode because it's a truly unforgettable experience that words simply can't do justice.